in this video what we are going to do is that we will get the knowledge of the basic structure of google form app so first of all we have to open the google form app in order to know about that so please do make a search as google form on google search engine and you can find the relevant search engine results at the top so first two options are you can choose any one of this when you click the first option you will get a brief overview of the google form app and you can just open the form app right there or else you can just start the app by choosing the second search engine result if you want you have got another option also to open the google form app you can open it from your google drive so you can also open by just typing the url which is docs.google.com slash forms so when you click the first search engine option then you will be landing over a website where you will you have the information regarding what you can do with google form you have to just click the option called go to google form here in order to trigger the google form app so let's click that and now here we are present now on the google form app this is not the form creator the form creator is uh, another place right now we are on the dashboard of google form app what does the dashboard mean the dashboard is a place where you can get to know about the recent forms so these are the recent forms which are being displayed at the bottom you can just filter the forms whether they are created by you or by someone else so if you have a good knowledge regarding google apps then you may know that you can share any of your work such as the slides the form the spreadsheets the docs with someone else and you can allow them to edit you can both parallelly work on a single project even though you are present somewhere okay. so there are these option to change the view of the recent forms that you have created and you can also use this option to sort the forms based on when they have modified and their title here you have got a file picker it will open your drive and uh, it will open your drive by making a search called forms and you can find different options here at the top to know about the forms whether if someone has shared with you then you can just go to this tab and you can find the forms that have been shared with you if you just star any form then it will be available in the starred forms and the recent forms are available here and you can also upload a form right from your computer by just clicking this option okay so this was a brief information regarding recent forms and how you can just get to know about the forms that you have created previously at the top you have got different templates so let's click this button and here you can find the different templates what are templates templates are also formed but they have already been created so you can just open this form which is already created and publish it with your own url and get the results saved on your drive storage so google form will occupy your drive storage based on the responses that you get here you can just trigger any of the form in order to make it your own you can find the different templates named as find a time contact information t-shirt sign up party invite event registration and more so you can use any of these forms if you want but it's not good to use the forms which are already created every time because you have an idea to create a form in order to meet that idea you should opt the relevant question types and answer types and if you just make use of any template what happens is that the template may not have the content relevant to your idea and you need to delete each and every content one by one and it's really a hectic task and in that case it's better for you to open a blank template so this is the use of the blank template and if you have got uh, enough knowledge regarding a google form app then it's better for you to start by opening a blank template but if you don't know about google form it it's better for you to make use of these templates 
the templates not only help you to create the forms easily but they also help you to get the basic understanding of this app called google form, form. let's know about the main menu when you click on the main menu you have got options to move to some other apps of google and not only that you can click the settings option in order to change the language of this app and also if you don't want the recent templates to be displayed on the home screen then you can just uncheck this option and after changing any of the settings you have to hit the ok button right now we are going to open a template and we will get to know about the basic structure of the form editor so click this contact information template and when we click that a form editor will be open so you can see that our form editor has been open and by default it has its original name as before which is contact information and here you can find an option called move to folder where if you have just created so many folders on your drive and you want to add this forms data or information then you have to just click this option and choose the different folders that you have created or else you can just hit this option called create new folder and add this form to be present in the folder that you have created right now by default you need not how to hit the save button in order to save any of the changes that you make on the form editor the google will save your work on its own so you can find this option here all changes saved in try every change will be saved automatically you need not hit the save button and it's not present even there so you, you have just observed the start tab when you just click on the file picker on your dashboard so you have to hit the star option available here in order to make this form available in the start tab of your file picker so if you want to make this form start then you have to just hit this button so it's that easy and here you have got an option to choose add-ons and make use of add-ons to make your form more powerful just click this option called add-ons and you can find the different add-ons that you have already added if you want to add the new add-ons then you have to hit this button called more and go at the bottom option called add-ons and here you can find the different add-ons that you can make use of in order to make your form more powerful add-ons are same as the apps that you have used on your mobile phone and make your mobile phone more powerful in the same way you can make your form more powerful by using these add-ons here you have got an option to select a color theme for your form so if i will just click on the red option here so you can see that the top header section is having a red color and the bottom is having a light red color you have not got an enough option to customize the design of your form you can just add a custom image and based on the color of that image it will occupy the rest section which is available here but the header section will have your image so you have to just click this option and you can just find the different images or you can upload photos by going to this section you can choose any of these images so let me just click one of the image and i will just hit the select button so based on the color of this image it will occupy the rest of the color here so it has selected by default the yellow color and the rest of the form is now in yellow color so after making any changes on the form it's necessary for you to get a basic preview of how your form would look like then you have to use this preview mode and it will open a new tab where the preview mode of this form is available and here you are not going to edit it rather you are going to add the responses for the form as the actual responser for this form will do like and here you will get the clear idea regarding how your form would be when the end user will be filling it you can just shift back to the editing mode by clicking the small icon available here 
or else you can just open the tab so beside the preview mode you have also got a gear icon which is a setting section of this form and it will be open in a pop-up and it has about three tabs called general presentation and quizzes in the general tab you will find the option called collect email addresses and when you check this what happens is that by default it will add a question type called email address and the, it makes it required that the users have to add their email address in order to submit this form or else the form will not be submitted you can find one thing here that we have added an email address here but the thing is that we have not added by this manner this is the simplest way that we are collecting the email addresses by just checking the option called collect email address in the setting section you can also do it by editing the answer type in the answer type you have got an option to set that answer to be an email address so it's this this option is the simplest one you have to just click this checkbox and hit the save button and it will add the question by default you can do it anyway one thing you may have observed that when I was just check this option called collect email address it has enabled another option called response receipts and what does this response receipt mean the user will fill the form and uh, the complete responses that he has filled can be displayed to him by sending an email which is said to be a response receipt and he will get a clear idea of what are the answers or the responses that he has given for this form and when I will check this option called response receipts then you will find even more options saying if respondent requests it or always if you want to just send the response receipt on demand then the first option is suitable where the user has to choose in order to get the response receipt or else if you want to surely send a receipt for every response then you can choose this option called always below this you will find another option called limit to one response if you want response from any person only one time and not more than one time then you have to check this option and what is being said here is that required sign in which means that if you want to restrict this form for a person for a single time then he has to sign in with the help of his google account in order to submit this form and no person can fill the form more than once when you will just check this option and after the form has been filled and submitted what do you want to show to the user whether a link with the help of which he can edit these responses or a summary charts and text responses that the form has received what are summary charts summary chart or complete analysis of the responses different responses that the form has achieved that are shown to the user when you check this option or else if you want to just show a link with the help of which the user can edit the form again then you can check this first option talking about the presentation tab you can check this option in order to show a progress bar to the user and every time the form has been submitted if you want to shuffle the question order then you have to check this option and as a result the question order will be shuffled you can find that this option is not enabled which says show link to submit another response as we have restricted this form to a single response you can find that this option is not enabled because the user will be able to give another response when I will just check this option so while I will just uncheck this this option is enabled now so you can just add a beautiful message here for the user when he will just submit this form now moving on to the quizzes tab here you will find an option called make this a quiz when you will just check this option this form will behave like a quiz where each question will have a point so when the user will choose the right question he will be given a point and uh, it's just as a quiz app that you have used earlier but here you have got more power which means that not only points you can also choose whether the results should be displayed right 
after the form has been submitted or you want to manually review each and every response and then you want to just show or uh, release the results for the user then you can choose this option and after submitting the form and getting the results what does the user or respondent can see whether he can just see a missed question or correct answers or point values you can just choose here what the user can see the quiz section is very beautiful and to make the quiz more powerful you have to just know about the question and answer type we will discuss that in the later coming videos uh, one thing important here is that your form will be saved automatically but your settings you have to just hit the save button when you make the changes or else the changes will be unsaved and not only that you can undo and redo your changes to the form but not to the settings and not only to the settings also to the preferences which are available here now let us talk about the different methods with the help of which you can export or publish your form you have to just click the send option and you will find uh, different options called uh, emailing this form to a person or just you can just get a link of this form in order to share you can also use this iframe in order to embed it on your blog or website you can use this option called shorten url in order to shorten the url of the form and not only that you can include this form within the email which which means that the user can fill this form right from the email here you will find another option called add collaborators which i will be telling you after a while so here you have got an option to undo the changes that you make you can also use the commands such as command z or control z if you are on windows and not only that you can also redo by keys which means that you have to hold the shift key and then you have to click command z or control z if you are on windows if you want to make a copy of this form you have to just click this option if you want to delete this form you you have to click this option called move to bin what is a pre-filled link sometimes it is necessary for us to show the user how the responses should be like in order to give a clear view of how the responses should be and in order to get a perfect answer from the user it's better to show a demo form which has been pre-filled and in order to get the pre-filled you have to just click here and it will open a new tab where you have to fill the responses for this form and when you click the get link option it will generate a link for you and you can use this link to show the users how the responses should be you can use this print option and it will open a new tab where you can print this into a hard copy and you can find that it is uh, more responsive as I have just chosen there was a, a short answer text for the name question and for the address question it was long answer text more lines are being displayed so you can just make a hard copy of this google form by clicking the print option so after the print option you have got a add collaborators option when you click this add collaborators option you can add collaborators for this form you have to just add the email addresses and click the send button and they will be able to edit this form if you have an idea about app script google app script then you can use the script editor to make changes you have also got an option called preferences and in this preferences tab you will find different options called collect email addresses make questions required default quiz point value so what are the preferences this preferences is a space where you just choose any of this option and this will be applied to any of the form that you will be create so here i have just checked this option called collect email addresses and after that i will just go back to the dashboard and create a new form and in that form 
this option will be enabled in the settings section which means that by default the form will add a question called email addresses or required and here when I will just take this option called make questions required then every time in any form that I am creating every question will be added as required however I can just uncheck this option here called required which is being displayed here individually for each and every question if I don't want to make that question required and even the point value if you just set this to be one two three four or any value and then you will just click save then in any quiz that you will create in future the point default point value will be four hey welcome back so in the previous videos I have explained about the dashboard and also the editor of the form the form will have two tabs only for you for the end user no tabs will be there for you the question tab and the responses tab will be there in the responses section you will find the different responses of your form and not only that you will also find a pie chart which will help you to understand the different responses easily and when you click the more option you will get an option to get notified for every response with the help of an email and if you want to select a destination for your responses which is a sheet google sheets if you want to just choose or create a new sheet to save the responses of this form then you have to click this option and here you will find two options called create a new spreadsheet or select existing spreadsheet and every response that is added to this form will be saved in that sheet when you have just selected a responses destination if you want to unlink the form anytime then you can just unlink that the good thing about the form is that if you have just unlinked the form and selected a new spreadsheet what happens is that all the previous data will also be added to that spreadsheet so you need not worry that you are just unlinking this form from the spreadsheet and linking it to a new spreadsheet you will think that the data which was added previously and the data which will be added now will be not combined so you need not bother about that because the complete data right from the beginning of the form or the beginning response or the first response all the data will be added to a new spreadsheet when you will just unlink the form and select a new response destination and now talking about download responses you can download your responses into a csv format and you can also print all the responses you can even also delete all the responses for this form with this option so at any time of the day you can just uncheck this option called and not accepting responses and you can just share them a message why you are not accepting the responses for this form however later at any stage you can just check this box in order to accept responses again now talking about the question and answer types in the question tabs your form title will be added first and in the form description you can add various information which you want to inform the user about before he has actually started filling the form so you can also add a pre-fill link by just generating it from here so that the user can get a clear idea of about how you want the responses to be you should just click this option in order to add a new question every question will be a text and you it can be followed by an image when you just click this image button it will open a pop-up where you can upload a new image you can take a snapshot you can upload an image with the help of an URL but the URL should be completely uh, directing to the image itself which means that it should end like .jpg or .png and when you just move here your albums you can find your albums but I don't have any kind of photos okay you can also upload photos right from your drive and you can just search here in from the Google and select the image the image component available here has the same properties now talking about the answer types automatically you can find that this question 
has selected the answer type to be multiple choice which means that this question will have an answer as multiple choice and uh, the user has to just select any one of the option that we have added now when you click this you will find about different answer types and they are sectioned into different groups here you can find that the paragraph and short answer are grouped into one section which shows that they are similar in nature but they have differences the short answer will have a single line text and it's uh, the number of lines sorry the number of words is restricted so you can use short answer as an answer type if you want a one word answer or very small answer from the user if you want the user to write a paragraph then you can use this option here you, you have more options saying multiple choice check boxes drop down the difference between the multiple choice and check boxes is that user can select only one option with the help of multiple choice whereas with the help of check boxes he can check more than one option and in the drop down option he can just choose one option the drop down is mainly used when there are so many options available the file upload is also an answer type with the help of which the user can upload a file directly to your google drive app now let's talk about the other options called as linear scale which is generally used to rate something so if you want to gain a rating regarding any of the product or any of the concept then you can just use this this section which is having linear scale multiple choice grid tick box grid is usually used for the questions of a survey linear scale can be used as a rating bar and uh, this multiple choice grade can be used to get answers regarding a product so similar way tick box grid can be used the difference between the cho multiple choice grade and tick box grid is that in the multiple choice grade in a particular row only one option can be selected whereas in the tick box grade more than one option can be selected so i can just uh, explain this with the help of an uh, example i have just uploaded a video where i am describing about a product and now i want to know about whether this part uh, or this thing has been shown in the video whether this has been included in the video i will just add this type of questions on the left hand side and i will add yes no options with the help of this multi multiple choice grid and the user can help me by just ticking this options now let us talk about this section called date and time if you want to just allow the user to select a particular date and time then you can just use this option called date and time so talking about this options add title and description if you want to just add a title and description in between then you have to just add this here and you can just add the title and description so you can use this to divide one question from another and if you want to mention something in between or just section the videos in this format you can just use this title and description and before a particular question if you want to add any image then you can add that and not only that you can also upload a youtube video sorry not upload you can add a youtube video here with the help of this option so you have to just add the url here or else you can just make a search if your video just ranks high in the search engine results then you can find your video or else you just copy and paste your url this option is add section if you want to divide your form into more than one section then you can use this option so what is the advantage of using the add section option you can hide a section of your form and you can just display or move the user to the next section when he has chosen a particular answer so this were the different question and answer types so this marks the end of the course hope you have found it easy to understand and at the same time valuable i suggest you to go through all of this content again after a few days because i want you to uh, remember each and every feature as it will help you to use them while you are actually creating the form apart from that if you feel any kind of necessity about practicing google forms or learning about some advanced features like 
add-ons then I will surely recommend you a course that is created by me the complete guide to Google Forms which is already available on Udemy uh, so that's it congratulations have a nice day signing off bye bye